All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another Let's Play. Here we are on the Eastern Front, playing as the Wehrmacht, invading the Soviet Union. We're continuing on the uh, 1941 summer campaign. This is the month of August, and uh, already the German army is what, about 300 kilometers away from Moscow. To the south, the Soviet army has pulled back its forces remarkably from the Western Ukrainian region or the Western Ukrainian Oblast. And now the Panzers are open to advance. Army Group South is open to advance with only one army really between them and Kiev, I guess two, including the defense of Kiev itself. Uh, there's also Odessa on the south that can be taken. Two major urban centers in the Ukraine already within German reach. And so we're going to continue on the campaign. Um, the Soviets have definitely um, built a much better defensive line. And we did not have enough uh, HQ or enough command during the month of June to do anything further. We exhausted all of our HQs very early on in uh, July. So there's been a, about a two week uh, period of, in, of no fighting effectively, uh, at least no advancing along the front from either side. So that was interesting. So now it's August, 1941, the German production is back. The German production right now is at 56. And so we're already going to spend uh, 50 of the, of the 56 production on the HQs. Yeah, each one costs 10 production points. There's a total of five. And lo and behold, the German army has recovered most of its HQs, but it really will not have much in, 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 the, in the remains of production for anything else. So the German losses that begin to come in will unfortunately stay there for the rest of the campaign. So we have a six left. I'm wondering if I should build up a frontline unit or rebuild a unit. Frankly, since we're in 1941, and you look at the reinforcements, the German army will be receiving a reinforcement every month, which is really cool to see. I don't think there will really be a need to build a new unit if we're receiving a reinforcement literally every month, maybe not nothing in December. So maybe, maybe I do build it. And second thought, I think we're gonna go ahead and build it. Uh, most of the reinforcements that are coming in now are really infantry. In November, we'll receive a um, mechanized core as reinforcements, but for now it's really infantry. But the Germans can use infantry definitely. They're going to need all, as much infantry as they can for this invasion of the Soviet Union. Um, but with that aside, um, yeah, we can really start the maneuvers. I think we can start with Army Group South, or better yet, Army Group A. And I think this Army Group, we're going to make it our blitz. And the idea here is just to have our troops really move as much space as possible eastward. That's, what I, that's really what I want to see right now. So, um, I can, for example, hmm. yeah, we're going to send the third Romanian army into Odessa. The infantry is going to march forward, and I can actually send some infantry towards Kiev. I think I do want to do that. I want to see that happen. Or do we simply bypass Kiev? I have no idea. Perhaps we focus only on bypassing Kiev.
Hmm. I definitely like the aggression here, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to move up every unit possible. So if that, in that case, I think we focus on bypassing Kiev. Instead, we get our mechanized units ready for a big attack elsewhere. Definitely think we should go for a river crossing. Yeah, overall, this was looking pretty good, I think. Units elsewhere. You know, the, the real question is, is what other movements, what other operations do we want to do? I do think Moving up our reinforcements somehow would be really nice before we do anything else, maybe activate OKH and uh, save Army Group South for the next turn. So let's get some troops up to the front line. And maybe launch a secondary attack or something, I don't know, but a lot of German units right now left behind. And it would be nice to move them up to the front lines if we can, definitely. In fact, there's some areas that have gaping holes. Yeah, maybe we're gonna have to do some operational moves. I can see maybe five to six. Three, four, five, six. I mean, I can see six units at least that we can move to the front lines right now. I kind of want to take Mogilev as well. We're definitely like a month ahead of schedule. Schedule. But uh, yeah, if even like if I can send even one unit to Mogilev, that would be huge meaning if I, if I do end up doing that i'm gonna have to leave one unit behind somewhere it's just what it's gonna have to be pretty sure this guy was here save one unit for later pretty much um which seems to be fair game to me so i think with that said we're gonna activate okh and just get some units to the front lines. That's one. Here's another. Boom. Another would be this one. Boom. Oops. Yep, we're going to actually go for it. Boom. So how many is that so far? I think it's two so far. No, three. Another one. I 
can do three more or bring three more reinforcements to the front lines. Hmm. It's a tough call. Hmm. I'm trying to think of moves here. Totally, totally overthinking the moves right now, as usual. But I've already done uh, pretty two decent ones. Uh, third reinforcement one. I still have three left. I do think that a river crossing is worth the move. I really do. Let's get a panzer group across. I don't know if we should attack or should we wait? I think that's really a pretty fair question to ask. I have two more moves I can do. I think another one is just get the Panzer in range. It's like the most important unit. And then I have one more left. I think that's pretty good. Then we'll move it to move it to uh, Minsk. Boom. All right. Other moves that can be done. I think that pretty much sums it up. Okay, H made its moves. We can move on to the blitz phase of Army Group A and just start doing some nasty maneuvers, starting with river crossing. Get all our infantry moving up. Oh, we never did this battle. There you go. Third Romanian army definitely succeeds at sieging Odessa. Move up infantry, move up panzers. So have two panzers left. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess just put it right there at the front line. Yeah, that's looking real good. Boom. Number group south is on the move, fully motorized. Yep, so now we can do this battle as well. Did not do earlier. Nice, another successful siege. And what else we got? River crossing Alumni, major engagement. That is the sixth 
sixth mechanized core of the Soviets. Wow. And they totally repulse. Successful Soviet repulse. Nicely done. All right, well, that pretty much sums up the German turn. On to the Soviets.